Spoon's gone for a swim. Wow, you've made a good miss. <laughs> Oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to my husband Paul's Monday night routine. I'm using a tripod here, but soon I will be filming the whole video because on this particular Monday, it was a public holiday. Every Monday, I leave with Cleopatra, Jerusalem and Romeo and I take them to the Conservatory of Music to have their lessons. We have separately filmed a family night routine that you will find linked below. We are thinking about also doing a Friday and Saturday night routine to show how we relax and party on the weekends. Check if it has been linked below. We like to give them kisses and hugs and say goodbye. Sometimes they don't want us to leave but the moment Daddy pulls out the fun stuff you're about to see, you'll see that it's all okay. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment. <laughs> Daddy! <gasps> King James! I'm not in the video. <laughs> Our Monday night routine is the only night of the week that the routine is different. When I leave, Paul hands them some educational games while they're waiting for dinner. On the other days, our night routine starts at 4 o'clock with some singing and dancing. Friday and Saturday night, there is a different routine for our older children, age 8 and up, also for Paul and myself. But for these little ones, they still go to sleep at 7. It's just easier for them to live the same routine every night of the week. I notice now that I did not film D'Artagnan and Shakespeare going to sleep. Their bedtime is at 8 o'clock, so from 7 till 8 o'clock, they get to have time together. They love to do puzzles, play Lego, and especially Shakespeare, he loves to read. Even though they're little, they know the routine is when mummy leaves, daddy's going to bring out the fun games, and soon dinner's going to be ready, so they absolutely love it. Yay! They play there for about an hour. Even though Omega is one, he is very happy to sit there for a long time. D'Artagnan goes and gets him new educational toys now and then while Paul makes the food. Paul makes a lot of food at our house and at night he does some counselling over the computer with youth and young adults. They are happy to immediately put their toys away because they know that daddy's going to bring them dinner. Our family is plant-based for health reasons and we use no animal products in our foods whatsoever. Our children absolutely love their seitan. We don't have fussy children when it comes to food. Aphrodite is there upset because she can't have her food. She's so excited to get it. Now she's seen what Omega's got and she's happy to wait for hers. We have these happy mats that we use. It's easier than having bowls which can break. Yummy! Hello! James, yummy! Our children eat a large variety of food. I have linked below videos of what our children eat and also our shopping trip. If you want some ideas on what to feed your vegan or plant-based children, look at my What My Children Eat video, which is linked below. There you will also find out what are our children's favorite meals. Thank you. Thank you. As time allows, we are going to be putting up more of our plant-based slash vegan recipes. Yummy! Having lots of children doesn't always mean that it's big chaos and screaming at the dinner table. Here they are, enjoying their food. But often there's a lot of laughter and giggles, and that's okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm. 
put her uh, in. No, 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 you don't need to take your shirt off. Nefertiti likes to dip her bread often into the seitan mix. What did Daddy make you? We've got seitan, which is vegan meat, in a nice homemade it, tomato it sauce. No, you don't have to take it off. And we've got the flaxseed on there. Always got to get the flaxseed. We've got some tomato, cucumber in vinegar. Oh, Omega knows how to eat with a spoon. Oh, find himself. Oh, his spoon's gone for a swim. They've also got some potato with some herbs. For 10 years, you've been doing it on your own every single Monday, Paul. Yeah. But you've enjoyed it. It's easy? Has it been hard? I just drive off with four children. And I leave you with six. I have a big banana. You have a big banana. No, I don't eat it. Look, Mum. Mmm, they love their food. You like your daddy's food. It tastes so yummy. Yours is all gone. Yummy banana. I can have Oh, you ate all the seitan. Wow, you made a good mess. <laughs> oh, surprise! Surprise, surprise! <laughs> it's his first little wash here, and then he goes to the shower. No, don't let him! Yay! Come on! <laughs> Our older children carry their plates to the sink. We let the little ones leave theirs there. It just leaves less mess. Then after that, they were so excited to go to the water park. Uh, I meant the, the sink. They love taking their turn. No, nobody falls off that chair. They think it's a fun thing. We think it's just easy. Thank goodness they enjoy it. days our children have turns doing the dishwasher and different jobs around the house on Mondays daddy does it. Not owning a lot and keeping things organized makes life much more easier for the children and for Paul and myself also. This gives us the freedom to do so much more with our children. Omega's baby toy that I made. Did you break it? Yeah. It's okay we'll fix it. Yeah. It's vinegar and water at our house. We have not used chemicals in this house for over 20 years. I will be doing videos on how we have made our own homemade cleaning products for the last 20 years. They may be linked down below. Time to have a shower. Shakespeare, Nefertiti, King James, Aphrodite and Omega go for a shower together. Today they had a really messy day playing with sand inside. We also had pesto potatoes so we had pesto drawings on our shower windows. Paul picks up the laundry from the ground. He puts the jeans in the jeans basket and the white shirts in the white basket. While they are still in the shower, he goes upstairs to get their pyjamas. He picks up 
picks up the girls' clothes from the girls' cupboard and the boys' clothes from the boys' cupboard. Then he goes into our room and gets his own clothes for himself also and takes them downstairs where he's going to have a shower. In the morning and in the afternoon, we place our children's clothes on this long bench ready to use. Then Paul also goes and has a shower and checks that all the little children have washed well. After he puts his clothes on, then he goes and puts his clothes into the washing baskets also. He hangs up his belt, puts his black shirt into the black basket and his jeans into the jeans basket. Then he goes back to the bathroom and gets towels out ready for little Omega to come out first. Shakespeare is eight years old and the oldest one in the shower. He checks that everybody rinses in age order and comes out ready for daddy to put a towel around them. Daddy takes them to the lounge room to where the pajamas are so they can all get their clothes put on. Shakespeare goes and gets dressed by himself into his pajamas and Nefertiti also dresses herself. Then he goes and hangs all the towels up. Just a warning to all headphone users that Omega Aged One gets really excited and likes to squeal really loud. So just be warned. Oh, love it. What was that? Oh, 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 baby. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, do you like being at home with dad when we go to music? Yeah. You do? What do you normally do when dad's here with you guys? Scream your head off. Here are our vitamins and our toothbrushes, each in its own jar with a name label on it. Daddy hands in their vitamins one by one. They're all very excited to have them. King James. Nom nom. Hey. Oh! Vitamin D just squirted out of his mouth. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah, backwards, Mom? What's in there? Can I see it? There it is. Then Daddy brushes all the children's teeth one by one, starting with Omega. He doesn't brush Shakespeare's or D'Artagnan's. They sit there happily chatting. The little ones can see that D'Artagnan and Shakespeare sit there also, so they're happy to stay. And they like having their teeth brushed. It's a pleasant experience. Are you studying teeth? Uh, yes. Yeah. Omega never wants to give the toothbrush back so we had to be very quick to remember that he wants it back after his teeth are being brushed. brush themselves so they learn to do it. Yeah. 
Just the Katie? Shakespeare and D'Artagnan brush their teeth always after Nefertiti's getting hers done, just to keep everything in order. Give it to me. Yeah, no, yeah. Checking for the names. If you noticed, Omega stopped being upset about his toothbrush being taken after he noticed that King James's and Aphrodite's were taken also. Yeah! So only the older two, Shakespeare and D'Artagnan, lost their teeth. You've got. Show your special little one that you've got. Yeah, you like using that. And they reach age eight. Or round about there. That's when we start flossing. You're getting some? Yeah, you sometimes have a little practice and you have that one. Then Daddy takes Nefertiti, King James, Aphrodite and Omega upstairs. They're so excited to go, they know Daddy's going to read them a book. Artanian and Shakespeare stay downstairs. They're able to take out puzzles that are difficult that the little ones won't touch, read books and pull out their best Lego to play with. Hey, hey! Night night. I think the sloth did a fire. The very sleepy sloth. Sleepy sloth. <laughs> oh, it's sleeping. Yes. Wow! So cute! Yep. Okay, time to go now. To bed now. We get asked questions on how do we get our children to go to sleep. But the thing is, we can't help people with that because our children just happily go to sleep. They actually enjoy it. They like climbing into there themselves and after that we don't really hear a peep out of them. Maybe a giggle which is beautiful but that's the end of it. <laughs> and I'll come and get him <laughs> and turn the light off. <laughs> Time to go to sleep now. A little time after that, I arrive back with Cleopatra, Jerusalem and Romeo from the Conservatory of Music where Cleopatra has been having piano lessons, Jerusalem drum lessons and Romeo electric guitar lessons for the last 10 years. Paul is so wonderful. Every single Monday night, he leaves us a message on where the food is. This time it's in the oven, sometimes it's in the dehydrator and other times in the fridge. I hope you enjoyed this. You bring me joy. You bring me happiness